All right, we are at step 10, which means we are at the halfway point. And to me, it actually feels like we're way past the halfway point because a lot of the physical stuff has been done. Now we work on all the stuff outside the pond. And step 10 is just that, it's hooking up our pump. We have our 2,000 gallon per hour pump, our EcoWave pump, which is one of our more energy efficient pumps. And to hook this up, it's quite simple. In fact, inside the pump box, they give you all kinds of fittings. And I'm gonna walk you through each fitting. The first one is this one. This is a female threaded one. We're gonna put this one on first because this one then allows these other fittings to kind of build off of it. The first thing I wanna do when hooking this fitting up is take the rubber gasket that comes with it. So take one of your rubber gaskets, it's gonna be the larger one inside your pump box, stick this right inside of there, and then thread this on. And what's great is I don't need any tools to put this on. All this stuff can just be hand threaded. The next fitting is this one. This is our rotational ball fitting. The nice thing about this is as I unthread this, this part actually swivels and can adjust to whatever angle I want the water discharged out of here. So same thing, you get a little rubber gasket, put that inside of here, thread this on like so. No tools necessary, we're just gonna go hand tight and we're gonna leave this loose for now because I'll show you in a second when we get down here into putting the pump how important this is to have it rotational. The next two fittings are these and there's actually only one but inside the box you get two of them. One is more for metric, one is more for US. We're gonna use obviously the US one today. We've gone ahead and trimmed off this piece right here to accept it into our pipe right over here. So what I'm gonna do right now is just kind of dry fit this on here. The reason I dry fit it is because I wanna see where I need to trim my pipe. We're gonna drop this pump inside our skimmer box. And notice when I put it inside the skimmer box, I'm keeping it towards the back wall over here. I don't want this to sit here because later I'm gonna come in here and drop my net. And the net just slides in like so. So I've got my pump down in my skimmer box. I've got it towards the back wall. The other thing I've done is I've got this side of the pump, the discharge area, up against the left side of the skimmer because I'm bringing my pipe in from here. That allows me a little bit more real estate to play with the pipe. So we got that in there like so. Now I wanna position this ball joint to accept this pipe right here. And I really like that angle. I'm not at a right angle, right? I'm kind of at a 45. So once I've got that lined up in the way I want that pipe to come in, now I can accurately measure where I wanna cut this is about right there. You can take your razor blade and effortlessly cut this. We've got a hose clamp and then that fitting. What I don't wanna do is try to shove this onto the pump. So the easier way to do it is take this off. You can see this is this little union fitting right here. I'm gonna take this off, put my hose clamp on first and then take this and we'll just slide this on. All right, now that I've got that barb fitting on there, I wanna go ahead and bring my clamp right up to the edge of this and just tighten this up. So you can't tighten it anymore. Putting the clamp on is gonna ensure that that barb fitting never pops off or you don't get any um, drip, drip, drip. Now if it leaks a little bit, not the end of the world because all of that's falling back into the pond. If it was dripping outside over here, that'd be a different issue. But inside the skimmer box, a little bit of drip, drip, drip won't hurt anything. Now that that's on, I'm gonna take one more of our rubber washers, put this inside of here. And then the great thing about this kink-free tubing is I'll be able to bend that and then just thread this on. Good, now that the pump's installed, I can go ahead, drop my net in. Remember the purpose of the net is to catch all that windblown debris. So all those helicopter seeds, the grass clippings, the tree pollen, everything that hits the surface is gonna get pulled through this skimmer box. This net makes it a convenient way to pull that stuff out and it'll grab and collect all that stuff. So when you go to clean this, you'll just pull this out slowly, shake it out and then put it back in. Now that that's done, you can see all this extra liner. I definitely don't need this. We know that this is all above water level. So I can go ahead and take my knife and trim all this excess away. Now we can go ahead and continue filling the pond and let that water just pour back into the skimmer. I love hooking up the pump before the pond is too full because trying to do all this with 18 inches of water in here is really a challenge. So go ahead, hook up the pump now, then go ahead, fill up the pond, and then we can start working on some of our edges. And my favorite part, the waterfall.